everyone. Hi, how are you doing? Hello, Richard. Hello, Cookie. Hello, uh, Tiberian. Hello, Road Brother. Hello, Forador. Hi, Setsuma. Hi, Raptorin. Hi, Sunshine. And hello, Sippy. So, hi. Hi, hi, hi. How are you feeling? I'm feeling amazing. <laughs> amazing. Uh, hello, Thomas. How are you doing? How's your day been? How many internet visitors? Hi, snake shifters. Fine enough, how are you? I'm, oh God, God, I'm amazing. I'm amazing. So, uh, so happy to hear you're doing a lot better after getting the stitches removed. That's the thing. Today they removed the stitches. For anyone who didn't know, for UCP, and for anyone who might have not known, I got surgery about two weeks ago. Tomorrow is going to be two weeks already. Um, one of those weeks felt like half a week because I spent most of it sleeping, but you know. Um, and although they said like they said it's gonna take one month to fully, fully, fully see the effects of um, like the effects of the surgery removed and and to feel like as good as I'll feel, but the first ten days were the worst. Luna, hello, how are you doing? Uh, what was the surgery for? Me worried? Well, that's why I didn't say anything before I took the surgery because I knew some people would worry. It was, um, oh, Ma, hello, how are you doing? How are you doing? Why are you not sleeping? <laughs> A surgery in UK? Yes, I am. Especially now. Now, I am better than UK. I am better than ever. Okay, I'll, I'll explain. Um, so, I had a thing that needed to be removed. One of those benign things that, like, they're not a problem, but they could turn into a problem, so they take them out. And also, while they were in there, um, they did touch my septum. Uh, it wasn't my nose. It was a surgery on the n n nose area and the, the entire face area. If you've never seen the muscles in the nose and the, the, the everything that comprises that, <laughs> it is basically your entire face. I actually saw a graphic the other day to be like, okay, let's actually see, like, why am I feeling pressure behind my eyes? Why am I feeling, like, why does it hurt my cheekbones? You know, th stuff like that. Um, and like, if you've never seen a graphic, it really just is the entire face, <laughs> the, the entire system. So, um, they took that thing out, and then since they were in there, they did something in my septum, and they did something in... <laughs> another part of the nose that I didn't know the name of until the other day when I looked at the graphic and I'm gonna tell you guys in a minute but I'm gonna finish <laughs> so what was it was it a non-cancerous tumor it was like a benign formation that if if left unchecked probably could develop into like a cancerous thing but um, it didn't like they just stripped it out and that's it but they didn't want to wait, so that's why it also kind of sprung up me, sprung up on me. I didn't know that it was happening until like <laughs> a week before it was happening. I don't know. It was, it was really weird. But I had stitches and I had some silicone flakes still in there. Today they took the stitches out. They took the silicone flakes, and now it's the first time I'm breathing. Not just in weeks. This is the first time I'm breathing well in years <laughs> I have never felt this good just breathing it is amazing I didn't know breathing was this nice you guys <laughs> people who have people who have no issues breathing just really don't appreciate how intense breathing how intensely good breathing is Hope you're doing a lot better. I am Selvinist. Welcome. Did I say hi? Yeah, I think I did say hi. Hello. Anyways, Mori. Mori Takanashi, how are you doing? Hello. Nice open matter. What? Open matter. Alicia Senpai. I don't know what you meant by that, but hello. Um, That sounds amazing. 
you just happy? Are you feeling way better? Ah, uh, yes, I had that. I had the same reaction after having cortisone, though of course it was short lived because I caught something again. Breathing is amazing. Breathing is amazing. Uh, important thing is nothing bad happened. Nothing bad happened, and actually, good things are happening. <laughs> good things are happening, and good things will happen. Um, I, it, again, I'm just so in incredibly happy that now I can breathe better than I did before. Ah, oh, it feels so great. So, at least you're feeling better, that's good. Yes, I am feeling so much better. All right, so, now that I've done the, the, the explanatory bit, let me tell you guys the funny bit where I googled the, the graphic, right? And I googled the graphic, and then I um, googled the graphic in English because I realized, hey, if I were to talk about this on stream, how would I talk about the thing that I had done, right? Um, let me see if I find that picture again. <laughs> uh, because I was, I was, um, oh, okay, it does have a different name. Good. Oh, oh my god. Okay, so the thing that I... I'm looking at a, an, a, a graphic again, right? And I'm seeing the name Turbinate. The Turbinate of the nasal vestibule or cavity or whatever. That's that's what they, they really did a number on. However, I had also seen the name... <laughs> the other time I found a graphic that was like, okay, let's see what I had an operation in. And for those of you who speak Spanish, cookies, Miguel if he's here, but I don't think he is yet. You get, we've seen this before, we've been through this before, it's that one word that I cannot say, because I'm from Argentina. So you guys can say it, but I cannot. But now I found a different picture. <laughs> and apparently they're called turbinates. Turbinates, not that thing. Not that other thing. <laughs> Ripta, hello, sorry I haven't been up with the streams lately, but now I'm on spring break. Well, congratulations on your spring break. Don't worry about it. I think I told you on the Discord or not on the Discord, but just don't worry about it. If you can't catch up streams, that is okay. They're there on the YouTube for you for whenever you need me. You need them. You need the streams, you need me, I guess. It's all right, it's the same. Good to hear you doing well. My mom and grandfather had to have surgery last year because of cancer. Thankfully, they're both well. I'm very glad to hear that. Um, it's never an easy thing. Surgery, like, it's it's scary for a lot of people. In my case, in this in this occasion, I wasn't scared because I knew that the result was going to be you're gonna breathe better than you already like ever have. Um, and that was something I was very, very much looking forward to. So I wasn't scared, because I was like, okay, let's get this over with. I'm so happy. It's still Alex, by the way. I know, that's why I said I didn't say welcome to the stream, or welcome to the channel. Because I know it's you! I know, I mean... It's, it's good that you reminded me, because I could have forgotten easily. But I do, I do know that you're Alex. But you did warn me that you were going to change your name, so I remember. Um... Was that thing? I just dropped in. Did something happen? No, I was just explaining my surgery again. Uh, for the 50th time? We've talked about it so much over this last week or so. Uh, but, 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 we don't need to anymore because I'm finally back to exactly where I was. And from here on out, I just get better and better. Wow, you can... Can you hear that? That is a rare occurrence. If you cannot hear that, that's a helicopter going through. Uh, it's a very rare occurrence. No, not, not very common for, I guess, the press to be moving around. Not like, not like helicopters are very common in here. <laughs> Today sure is a happy day. It is. It's such a happy day. 
Uh, we heard there was something. Yeah, that was a very weird occurrence because it's not like I live next to government buildings or anything, so like no reason for helicopters to be roaming this area. But well, unless we do have some other helicopters, like. Do we have police helicopters? Is something like that happening? I don't think so. Oh, Christ, I'm glad you're doing better. I'm doing so much better. For me, when I was going to get surgery, my parents just said we were going to the doctor and that I will sleep for a few hours. <laughs> they didn't even tell you. They didn't want to scare me. But, I, I mean, I understand. And I get the, uh, I get the intention. But... I think that's something you should be warned about. I personally, for example, this time around, I just wish I had been told exactly how the recovery process was going to be. Because I really didn't know what to expect. I really didn't expect to spend two weeks having trouble sleeping. And uh, right now my tongue is hurting because of all the weird movements I'm doing when I'm eating because my nose was entirely unusable. And if you've ever eaten with a flu, you know how different and hard it is to eat when you cannot breathe through your nose. So, uh, right now my, my tongue is like, oh my god, my muscles! Um, but now that I can breathe, that's going to start getting better as well. But I just wish I had had a warning. I just wish the doctor had been a little bit more detailed with his description of what's going to happen after the surgery, you know? Instead of just saying, well, you look out that same day and it's life as normal. It was not. It was not life as normal, you guys. It was not life as normal. It was definitely not life as normal. <laughs> um, mine when I was little, I was something like, we're gonna have a big doo-doo and go see Nemo? Huh? What the? What? I actually can't really taste that much because my nose is pretty stuffy. Yes, by the way... Um, congratulations on getting a negative again. <laughs> this is like your your third or fourth time getting tested, right? Um, that, that you told us about at least. Congratulations on still not having the bug. And I hope you start getting better quickly. Alec! Long time no see everyone. Hopefully everyone is doing well so far. Many hugs and calls to you. Hello! How are you doing? It has been a while. How are you doing? Welcome back. Um, we were just talking about how I am finally 100% full energy after having a surgery and recovering from it. Don't worry about it, it wasn't a serious thing, you can check the VOD, but it's okay, it's 100%, 100% gone to the past now. Um, my fourth time getting tested overall. Alright, congratulations on still not having it. Not a lot of us can say that um, we were lucky enough not to catch it. Um, it, it, it was a very long time of pandemic and it's still not over, still not over, but I feel like finally the numbers are finally coming down in a way that gives me faith, you know, you know what I mean? I'm doing good, just feeling a bit better from yesterday. Did something happen yesterday? You're free to talk about it and you're free to not talk about it if you don't want to. Um, so... Yeah, let's talk about what other stuff that's been going on with you guys, because what has been going on with me is that, you, you know, you know what has been going on with me. Or actually, let's talk about the, um, the sixth month anniversary, which is happening on Monday. I had to look at the calendar again, <laughs> just in case. Just in case I had to look at the calendar again. Yes, it is on Monday. Uh, I had thought community games... But now I'm rethinking about it. I think Tiberian, I think Tiberian, you might have a point and it would be good to do a debut reaction. I don't know. I'm still like, I was, I was a bit more certain before, but now the more I think about it, the more I'm like, hmm, maybe, maybe it would be a good idea to do a debut reaction again. Not again. It would be the first time. But like, should I? So what do you guys think? I should drop a poll on the community tab now that we have one. Um, but I think it's still up on the air. 
It's honestly insane how back in December the lines for the COVID tests were very long and when I went to get tested we were the only ones there. I'm assuming you mean today. Yeah, I mean the numbers really are going down a little bit. I'll tell you later about it. Okay. Uh, for me it's great as Fantasy Fight Live is finally working. I don't know what Fantasy Fight Live is. Is it a game? Is it a game? On stream. Is it a game? Uh, did I miss something? Hello, MN9! We're talking about how on Monday it's my debut stream, so the question is, do I do a debut reaction? Like, do I react to my debut video? It's only an hour, so it would make for a shorter stream if you don't want to stream long or on your off day. Was it only an hour? Wait, wait, no way. No way. I'm going to my channel right now. Was it only an hour? I felt like it was an hour and a half. For real, I thought I had started with an hour and a half because I remember having the feeling like, oh, this is exactly the amount of time that I would normally want to stream for, an hour and a half. It's an hour, I mean, this, the, the video says it's an hour and a half, but I guess there's a lot of stuff to chop out, maybe the wrap up stream and stuff. So if it's one hour, that would be nice, because then it leaves us a lot of time to talk. Because I, I, I wasn't sure about doing it, because if it's an hour and a half, then it may take an entire stream. And, like, you also have to account for stopping and saying comments and stuff. But I think, I think it might be fun. It's gonna be fun seeing Ellie react to her old audio call. Don't even, oh, don't even get me started on that. Because, yes, I know, I'm fully aware that the first stream and the Mao collab were very, very, very badly configured. That was before the time I ran a test every single stream. Now I test every single stream as best as I can. Um, and that was before the time I, I had the habit of checking the sound settings every single time because Windows sometimes randomly resets the sound settings, which is very weird and very frustrating, and I freaking hate it, but you know, it's uh, it's not something I can avoid, so it sometimes it happens. Um, it's an interactive game on stream where your viewers can duel each other, including you, you have tournaments, customizable characters, etc. That sounds great! Wait a second, I'm gonna write that down. I'm gonna write it down! That sounds interesting. I don't know if I'll actually decide to do it at all after I check it out, but, you know. Uh, sounds interesting. Fantasy Fight Live. Fantasy Fight Live. I'm writing it down. You guys know that I need to write it down because if I don't write it down on paper, I never cover it. <laughs> Um, it was one and a half hours still short and two hours just don't stop the video. <laughs> just comment on top of the video. I could. I guess I could. I guess we have it lucky because we are very rural pe rural up here. Mostly forest. And because of that, we don't have many COVID cases at all. Yeah, I mean the metropolis is, 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 uh, and the big city centers get the worst of it. Um, I personally have it lucky because I was always kind of uh, reckless. <laughs> Not that I am scared of people or scared of going out. I don't have germophobia or anything that would prevent me from actually like living on the streets. But I'm the kind of person who would rather make one good grocery list per week and go to the grocery go to the groceries just once per week and that is it. Whatever I didn't get, well, too bad. Wait until next week. I'm not doing a second trip. I'm not getting out for no reason. <laughs> I'm the kind of person who tries to handle everything in-house. The universe hated us? No, my windows did, Mao. My windows was the problem! Maybe the collab was just cursed that day. It was so cursed. It was so cursed. We couldn't get the game to work. We installed Parsec and it like demolished my computer. It made a really weird red, red screen glitch. It was, uh, it was awful. And we prepared with like half an hour, 40 minutes of time, and we were still half an hour late because nothing was working. It was awful. 
but at least the game ended up being fun. But Mao was also cursed that day because your internet cut off like three times. So yeah, we were, we were pretty cursed. At least I had so much fun with the game. At least I really, really enjoyed the game. So I'm not sure if I actually was able to make it to the debut stream, but I definitely remember making it to the second stream. Well, are you gonna have fun? What? Chill. Damn. Things are happening on the street today, huh? Um, well, are you in for a treat of very, very, very horrible sound? <laughs> It was a very funny collab regardless, I had fun. It was a very funny game. If anything, I'm kind of sad that it's a separate game. The The Christmas themed one seems to be a different item completely from the normal Visceral Cleanup, which means if I wanna play it ever, it's only that one flavor. And I know the normal Visceral Cleanup has like different stuff, I think. Like I've seen some screenshots of alien parts and also maybe miners? I don't... Mm, I don't know, but like... It really was a fun game and I would really like to revisit it. But I think the only flavor of it I have is Christmas. I don't think I... <laughs> I don't think I have any other um, different Viscera to clean <laughs> other than Elf. Um, it was a very fun collab. Your mod has a mind of its own, it goes... Yeah, that is probably... I don't know. Is it the webcam? Is it the lighting? I don't know. Eventually, I'll have a really good camera. I actually found out about Ellie back in March or April when I searched up VTubers on Reddit. Nice! You came from Reddit? That is nice to know. I always... I always wondered how many people find me from Reddit, from, how many people find me from just YouTube. VTuby. And last and definitely least, Twitter. I am... Horrible at handling Twitter. Probably very, very few people find me through there. <laughs> that collab was pretty funny, by the way. 10 out of 10, it was pretty funny. And Mal did some really cool highlights. And also, I pointed at myself with a gun and didn't realize it until my chat told me on Discord and showed me a screenshot. And I was like, oh my god, I was being a fool of myself and nobody was telling me anything. I found her out when she was really small, and then I was like, man, don't like this big model. <gasps> How dare you? You're an enemy of snakes? You hate snakes? How dare <laughs> Then I came back a couple months later, or whatever, and stayed. <laughs> well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Oh no, the PTSD. Oh no, I can hear the PTSD from your recalling it. <laughs> PTSD torture snake. I remember his internet got disconnected by his dog. Yeah, yeah, it was a very scuff stream. Liz lives under an airport. I actually, I have lived under an airport in the past. Um, it was, it, I don't think I would have been able to stream in there. It was intense. The amount of times that you would just hear, I mean, eventually you get used to it and you zone it out and you can sleep no problem. But the amount of times that just planes would go over... I didn't live under an airport. I didn't live under an airport, actually. But I did live close enough to an airport that the plane routes um, were still, like, very loud. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? It would, it would go right above our area. And it was pretty loud and it was pretty consistent. We would get a plane, I don't know, every couple hours or something? Nowadays, I don't anymore. And also nowadays, I guess people living in those areas have it easier because with the whole situation, I think there's a lot less flights, I would guess. Mouse dog didn't want the cola. <laughs> The contest, the concept is that you're cleaning up after video game heroes. I would have said Tabler is least. If I if I ever actually used the Tumblr I created, when I decided to start VTubing, I did create an account on every page I could think of. Uh, the only one I missed, I think, was Pinterest because come on, who's who's using Pinterest as a VTuber? <laughs> 
And also TikTok, because I don't want to download TikTok to my phone. I do not want that kind of spyware, and uh, no thank you. So those are the two accounts where I didn't. But everywhere else I was like, okay, I'm gonna claim the username before anyone else has the chance to. Actually, today is my one year anniversary of the YouTube account being created. YouTube reminded me of that. It was like, hey, congratulations, your account is one year old. And I'm like, wow. Huh. It really did take six months, huh? To actually debut after after I wanted to. But, you know, whatever. We did what we could. Um, so I do have an account on Tumblr. I think I posted three times in there. And yeah, then I, then I forgot. I didn't maintain it. <laughs> The VTubing scene is not very big on Tumblr, and honestly, maintaining a lot of social medias is so exhausting. <laughs> so yes, Tumblr is least, uh, but that is also because I completely abandoned it. Although, I treated it better than my Instagram, in which I never posted it <laughs> ever. But in my defense, in Instagram, Instagram will only allow you to post from your phone, and my phone is pretty old, and also I don't like having to send files over from my computer to my phone is just so annoying so I never I never even tried with Instagram um same I just use Twitter as my art dumping ground <laughs> I do wish I had a better art dumping ground than Twitter because in Twitter it's pretty hard to find older stuff and I wish I could just organize my art in a way that is easier to find maybe I should open a DeviantArt or an art station or something um, although I do have a Pixiv. If I really think about it, I think I have a Pixiv. I wonder if I have it. Or if... Yeah, I just... I have some blurry memories of maybe opening an account on Pixiv. Maybe. I don't know, I would have to check. <laughs> I would have to check. I can't retain that much information. It's just so many accounts. Ah. I live in a relatively quiet neighborhood. That must be nice. That must be nice. No noises when you're trying to sleep. No weird car dudes. Um, if you live next to an ave avenue, highway, highway, that would be very annoying. My cousins lived near an airport long ago, so I know what you mean. Yeah, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. I have Pinterest, but I mean, as a user, you have it, Pinterest. You don't, you don't have it as a like a, a networking social media for to like grow. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think there are any VTubers using Pinterest as VTubers. Pinterest seems like more of a more of a organization tool for oneself. That's how I perceive it. It's like, Pinterest is where I would go gather a lot of references and keep them neatly together in a folder. Except I personally don't use Pinterest because I, I'm so fed up with the amount of people posting art in there without sources. Um, I'd, rather, I'd rather find stuff and then save it in a folder and name the file with the source. Like, if you ever see my references or my or my assets and stuff, I have them all organized where the, the name of the file includes the source artist. Just, just so I'd never... So, just so I never lose the source. Congratulations, thank you! I basically just did a Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube initially, started on YouTube, no one came, so then I switched to Twitch, and random people watch me now sometimes. I'm glad you're having more success then. Not gonna lie, Pinterest can be good for post references. Uh, I do sometimes end up falling my way through Pinterest for posting references, but I mostly prefer making poses myself in Just Sketch Me because that way I can get exactly what I'm what I'm envisioning, you know. Um, although Just Sketch Me has a very ugly model, but. One day I'll have Clip Studio Paint. It's fine. I sat when I saw the Reddit post, and one day I see Game Genre Tier List Live on my sub feeds. Too spicy not to click. That was such a fun stream. I want to do more tier lists. I really need to do more tier lists. I have so much fun just yelling my random opinions <laughs> to you. 
Um, and then you contesting them, I guess. Nobody contested me way too much, but... But it was fun. It was very fun. Um, YouTube is my bot dumping ground and occasionally clip thingy. Hey, if you're doing clips, that's good. I also use Twitter because of Ellie and for news on my sport team. Hey, I'm not the only reason. <laughs> I'll drink to that. Mm. Pixip can be a good source since a lot of art people go there to look and support new art. I think I should definitely check if I act. Blah. If I actually have an account on there, or uh, if I'm confusing it with some other memory, I really should check. Um, we live near our railway, but eh, doesn't bother too much if you're outside. Except if you're outside. What is a railway? Oh, like for trains. That sounds... That sounds a lot more annoying, actually. With the sound that the train does when it announces that it's coming? It's high-pitched. My old neighborhood had a few guys that would race around the neighborhood like very late in the night. That is annoying. See, when you live, uh, I had, do have experiences living near highways and stuff, as you can probably tell by how often you can hear trucks and stuff. Um, it's not great when you're almost falling asleep, but not asleep enough that noises still bother you. That's the annoying part. When you're already asleep, Eh, whatever. But it's pretty annoying when you're almost falling asleep and then some dude decides to prove that, I don't know, that they have a big car or that they are macho or whatever and they start like... You know those people that have a car that makes a lot more noise than a normal car? <laughs> For me, Pinterest is this annoying thing that pops up when I try to see a picture page. For me, Pinterest is a place that I'm scared of finding my own art in there, being reposted and not sourced correctly. Reddit is cool, but some of the rules on subreddits are just awful. Like, one a month doesn't allow fun art unless it's Monday, and you can't ask a question that's under a paragraph. What the frick? What? What subreddit is that? That's a very awful set of rules. That is a bad set of rules. The thing about Reddit is that you can't really judge it as a website. I guess you can judge like the overall structure of it, but it really lives and dies on every subreddit's user base and moderation. Um, like I played this game, this roguelike called Going Under, and I was super excited to engage with like the community of it. And the subreddit is so dead, like incredibly dead. So it really is a place that can be great and it also can be meh or even bad, depending on what subreddit you're in. Um, oh, no tier lists? Why? Why don't you like them? They're so fun. <laughs> Tier lists are so fun. I want to do a tier list. Actually, we have to finish my wish list tier list. Some things have changed. Um, some things have changed on the tier list. I have removed some of those items from the wish list. Some of them have passed from my wish list to my actual library. And I don't know if I've added any titles that would be interesting enough to talk about. I don't think so. It really was a fun stream, yelling rage snake. Did I, did I rage? Did I rage in it? I have some PTSD from making tier lists. Oh no, did you, did you get a lot of, of, of clash, clash back, Bla backlash? Clash back, what the hell? <laughs> did you get a lot of backlash for your opinions? Do something very spicy and make a VTuber tier list. Okay. Uh, that is, that is, that is way too spicy. That is scary. That is very scary. <laughs> what if I did like a... What, what could it do? If I did an indie VTuber tier list, then that would feel very mean because then I would be going against like very small people who are just doing their best to grow and stuff. And if I went against, not against, but like if I did something like Hololive, then people would hate me. <laughs> there would always be some, some stan of someone being like, how dare you not put them on S. Like, any VTuber that I put, if I did like a Hololive thing or an Ninja's Entry thing, every VTuber that I put on anything lower than S 
would be like horrible backlash and if I did indies it would just feel mean it would just feel like attacking people I don't know I don't know if I could do that um I once tried a wacky naval ship tier list didn't work well oh well I don't think many people know a lot about naval ships I don't think gotta be careful though cuz pixip can get hardcore real fast it can how what do you mean I haven't used Pixiv that much, mostly to look for specific references about specific characters when I wanted to draw them. I remember uh, looking for like re-zero characters to get like a lot of good references. Yeah, that's a railway for trains, baby Ellie. English is not my first language, sometimes I forget words. <laughs> it's called a horn list. No, 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 I don't mean a horn, I mean the... Okay. I don't know if this is just common in my country, but it shouldn't be. It should be on, on every country. Like, we have these two sets of lights that start blinking, um, blinking one after the other, and they do a high-pitched sound every time they turn on or off. And it happens for like 10 or 15 seconds before the train comes. And if you live in a place that has good train circulation, like every, I don't know, half an hour, you would hear those little bells every half an hour. It would be so annoying. Uh, my cousin lived near train tracks, and to be honest, after some time, you just stop noticing. Yeah, our brains are really good are just ignoring sounds that are repetitive and annoying. I use Instagram to talk to some other fans of both my team and other teams. Huh, Instagram as a social media? Who would have thought? Who would have thought? I know that it's supposed to be a social media, but I feel that at this point it has become like less about social and more about pretend you have a better life than you actually do and trick other people into thinking you have a good life. Um, am I being too cynical? Am I being too cynical about Instagram? <laughs> I actually find train horns relaxing late at night. But I'm not talking about the horn! I'm not talking about the horn! <laughs> I have a neighbor that randomly fires his gun at night. That is terrifying. What? That prick. Why? That is so scary. That is, uh, that would freak me out. That would freak me out. Um, my neighbor is louder than his car. Louis, first of all, hello, welcome. Second of all, what, how? Does he yell a lot? <laughs> is he an annoying karaoke? Oh my god, you guys, one of, one of these trips that I went on on February, remember that trip that I went on on February and I planned some streams and then they turned out to be impossible because I had a, um, a processor that was old as frick. Um, the house next to the house I was in had a family or something that had clearly just discovered the pleasures of a karaoke machine because every single evening, every single night, they would start singing for hours. For hours and not singing well, not practicing one song over and over like classes, not like it was, it was, it was definitely just a karaoke machine every single evening and every single night. That's a loud neighbor. Sorry, loud neighbors. That's what it reminded me. That's the Pokemon subreddit. Oh, I could do a Pokemon tier list. Something like someone who has never played or watched Pokemon tier ranks Pokemon just based on their looks. That is literally the only thing I could do. I think I want to do that. <laughs> I actually think I might want to do that. Every time I try to post it on Reddit, I seem to violate the rules somehow. Oh yeah, I'm... The thing about Reddit is that I never know... I've gotten so used to post previews that I'm very bad at posting on Reddit because it doesn't allow post previews. So nowadays when I post on Reddit, I spend 15 minutes agonizing about what kind of post is the post that I want to do. The only post that works well for me is an image post, because when I try to link a video or something, it just doesn't look the way I want it to. 
Um, and it, it does have rules about how many times in a roll you can pose with a certain flair or something. So, I, I don't know. I'm not super comfortable posting on Reddit because I really need the post preview. I used to have neighbors who fire guns at each other at night. Ah! Nightmare! Why? Nightmare. God, that is awful. Same, every time I try posting stuff on Reddit, I guess I get ghost removed. Reddit is not an easy place to understand. Reddit is not an easy place to understand. I mean, at least in my opinion. Clashback, lol. Oh my god, am I that far behind? Am I that far behind? Oh no! John, welcome! Hello, John! How are you doing? Um... It's been already 30 minutes. Lol, you have to be real nice for that tier list to avoid drama, though. Exactly. Maybe an individual tier list between people you know. That would be like five people, and it would only be people that I like, so it would be a very boring tier list, because I would all... I would post... put, put them all on the top tiers? Like... I'm not... I'm not a fake kind of person if I don't feel like I would really click with someone, I won't approach them. Um, because I don't want to have to, like, pretend, you know what I mean? Um, so I wouldn't... I, between people I know, it would end up just being people I like. <laughs> Um, very spicy. Between tier list is a really bad thing, I think. I, it, it would be the death of me. Do a family member tier list using your family? That would be too short. Arachne tier list. You mean spiders in general? That's an interesting idea. That's, that's, that's a concept. I don't know a lot about spiders, though. I know about one that has little frogs as pets. We've talked about this on a previous stream. And I think there's one that uses uh, leaves as a hat or an umbrella when it's raining. Those are adorable. Other than that, I don't know a lot about spiders. I once got rated as looks baby and small, but also mature. Let's put him in the cozy home date section on a tier list. Interesting category. Oh, categories that are not quality. That's, that's something you could do. Do a Monster Girl tier list and find a hobby to do it with. Yes! Yes! I have to do that. I have to do a Monster monster Girl tier list and I have to find another Monster Girl to do it. It has to be a collab with a Monster Girl. Has to. Love that idea. In fact, in fact, I should write it down. I mean, should I write it down? I should remember it. It's a good idea. I should probably remember it. My dad used to work on building ships. Um... Including a destroyer, which after the company threw a huge party and I got to go when I was 11. So you do know about ships and you've been on a ship. That is... I don't think a lot of people can say that. I don't think I can say I've ever been on a ship. That is impressive. I said I live near a railway, but it's more like trains in the distance close. Oh, so we wouldn't bother you. Yeah, we have those spells in the United States. Alright, so you know, you know what I mean. Oh my god, I'm so far behind. Okay, rushing time. It's pretty much the same reason for me not using Instagram at all and really and rarely using Twitter. For, for, purely for following VTubers. I love that I said rushing time and then immediately my tongue decided to stop working so that I had to slow down. Love that for me. Great. <laughs> oh no, bruh, horrible karaoke, no. Pokemon tier list is an amazing idea. I should do a Pokemon tier list. That actually sounds fun. I just hate talkative neighbors unless they're people I already know. Oh, so he's talkative loud? I mean, it's karaoke machine. Eight times out of ten times, it's bad singing. That's what I mean. I'm pretty sure it was just a karaoke machine because they were singing, but they were not, like, properly singing. Never did karaoke or kar a karaoke machine. S. Ellie's waifus. A. That name exists. B2E, not VTubers. F. Horror artists. <sighs> if I just based it on who would be my waifu or not...
I'm gonna be honest, I'm just entertaining that thought now. And I feel like I would get even more hate than if I was just doing a normal tier list. I'm considering it. Not considering to do it, I'm not gonna do it. Forget about that, it's not gonna happen. But if I were to do it, and I'm doing it in my head right now, oh boy, I can see the flames. I can see the pitchforks. <laughs> I'm fine, I get ya, I got you mean. That's good in the long run. I don't know what is good in the long run because I'm very far behind. <laughs> Random, but what was the most embarrassing thing you have done as a kid? Probably throw a rock at a person. I'll tell you in a second when I catch up with chat. It was a VTuber date list. Oh, you probably should remember, but you won't. Put a post-it note on your monitor. Okay, I'll write it down, I'll write it down. I'm gonna write it down. Monster Girls here on this. Monster girl tier list collab. There, it's written down. I promise I wrote it down. All right. Um. Well, it's definitely Ellie. She's behind chat again. I'll remember this. Is the biggest lie in the world. You mean you get hate already? Nah, I only got one mean comment so far, thankfully. Um, I'm not getting a lot of hate, which is really great, and I don't want it to change. I know at some point it will. I'm prepared for it. I prepared mentally for the point in which some people are gonna come in and hate just because they hate VTubers, or or because they hate me. I'm not. I'm not gonna pretend that every person in the world is gonna like me. But um, thankfully it hasn't happened yet. Um, a Pokemon tier list would be really long though. It would be impossibly long, but I would have to check what tier lists are already available on the tier maker website. I do not want to make my own tier list. That sounds like an annoyingly long and bothersome pro process. What? This just makes me curious now. I'll, 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 in a second, in a second. Wake up to the bottom of the chat. Hello, it feels good. Um, background fish. Yeah, let's start a riot. <laughs> Um, frog tier list? I heard Olab. Olab? Collab. Collab. Frog tier list. I don't know about uh, frogs a lot either, but I do have a friend who really loves frogs. Maybe he does know some more about frogs than I could ask him about it. Um, I mean, curious as in who your waifu and why it would spark flames and pitchforks. <sighs> Listen, let's just put it this way. For example, one of my favorite, one of my favorite hololivers is Gouda. I'm not afraid of saying that. She is one of my favorite. I consider her so funny and so entertaining. But also, if I was making a waifu tier list, she would be on the very bottom. I cannot see her motto and feel waifu energy. And that, if I were to say that on a tier list, a lot of people would start rioting because you know how the anime community gets about the whole lowly discourse so I wanna I wanna keep very far away from that kind of discourse I wanna keep far away from it I don't wanna you know you know I also don't have a thing uh, I, I've talked about this and I feel a lot more comfortable about this <laughs> but I've also talked about how if a design has incredibly massive, um, well, incredibly massive, um, assets, you know, um, normally it's not a design that I would like, normally it, it like, it like, it just my brain how it, it tends to be very unbalanced, it makes the design very top heavy, and also, I, as a woman, just feel the pain of how much that would hurt the spine when people have like very, very massive assets. So I would end up putting those people down on the list, but then a lot of people would get very mad at me for saying that. So I think, I think not. 
Lol. <laughs> also, for me, the most embarrassing thing that happened was when I was like six years old. I tried calling the firefighters to see if it actually worked, and they actually came. My friends were confused on why they were there, but you were just six. I mean, granted, my experience was also when I was a little kid, um, but no one would get really, really mad. I mean, kids are really dumb. <laughs> my favorite is Bells. Bells is really good too. I find her really entertaining too. Um, her singing is really good. I see, yeah, it makes sense though. Um, Amaya Pervitra, welcome, how are you doing? I hope it's okay if I call you Amaya, but if you want, I can call you Trash. I don't know why you would want that, but welcome to the chat. <laughs> when I was six years old, I was drowning cats and throwing baby dolls on the roof. I hope you don't mean drowning as in actually drowning. I really hope you don't mean that. Um, when I saw them at the door, I immediately ran to my parents' room. Good as fans would probably agree with you in that placement. You think so? You think so? Yeah, I agree, Loli Arlene. Mills forever. <laughs> I mean, understandable. I don't think there's any VTuber I consider pure waifu material, though I have to give it some actual thought. Um... Um... Now that I think about it, wait, do I have any any VTuber that I consider, like, pure waifu material? Like, pure, pure waifu material? Flare. Yeah. Yeah, I can say I can say flare with confidence. I can I can confidently say flare. I think <laughs> best as <asset. laughs> yeah. When I see over buff VTubers such as Grown, I think in the tier maker side you can choose various Pokemon gens. Maybe you can do it like a pool with different Pokemon gens, and we choose one of them. That that could be how I do it. That could be how I do it. I'll check the tier maker website to see what's already available so I don't have to make my own tier list. Um, I fortunately don't have to worry about it, Mal. For me, the most embarrassing thing was when I was four and I ran ass naked from my chop through the neighborhood until I got to my aunt's house. Damn! Okay, that sounds embarrassing. That does sound embarrassing. <laughs> I have one I consider cutesy all material, but that's it. I mean, a lot of... I consider most VTubers uh, cute, all material. Not most, but a lot of them. Um, okay, now that I've... Now that I've reached the bottom of the chat... Hello. Hello, it feels good to be down here with y'all. You should do full Spanish stream. I could. But I feel like I would isolate most of you. Because I don't really have a lot of purely Spanish speakers. I don't think I can think of a few, but I don't know if I want to talk about them. <laughs> Welcome! Hello, it feels good to be here. Um, if you don't want to talk about them, then don't. Don't worry about it. Um, does she even have a Spanish audience? Miguel definitely knows Spanish. Danilo definitely knows Spanish. And um, I know there's a couple more people. Oh, I'm not remembering the username right now. But uh, this, he's a friend of Miguel, and he has a, like a two gun for a profile picture. So I do have at least three people, I think. I think I have at least three people, but not not most of the people. So probably not gonna happen. Um, so the rock thing. When I was when I was tiny, when I was little, I was um, I was. Trying to look for shells, interesting shells on the beach, and I was uh, just throwing a lot of uninteresting shells behind me without looking back. It's not that interesting of an of a, of, a, of, a, of a, an anecdote, but um, I was just throwing anything that was uninteresting behind my back, like over my shoulder. And at one point, I grabbed a little, a pretty big rock, and I threw it over my shoulder. And there was someone behind me, apparently, some random person, some random adult. And, um, I think I made them bleed because I hit them in the head with a rock. And I felt horrible. And it was uh, very bad. I remember, I remember, like, my parents 
uh, apologizing a lot. I remember um, them chastising me a lot. I remember, um, yeah, it was it was bad. It was. I don't like. I don't like that anecdote. <laughs> but it, it might be one of the worst um, things I did when I was a kid, and one of the times that I felt the most embarrassed. Um, I learned some Spanish in high school, but I forgot most of it. Isn't that the normal experience? Don't most people forget whatever Spanish they learned in high school? I still don't believe my family on this, but they said when I was on my second birthday, they said I started crying when I saw the cake. Not in happiness, but just in fear. That could have happened. Babies are weird. Babies literally don't understand anything about the world. It's... It, it's intense for them. Everything is intense for babies. I think YouTube tells you in the statistics. You can always check. Oh, yeah. I don't think I have a lot. Oh, welcome. Hello. How are you doing? Too busy, Mark? Good job. Welcome. Hello. What do you mean, good job? Good job on hitting someone with a rock? That is not something good. That is not something you should be, be, be congratulating. Anyway. I'm at the bottom of the chat again, so if anyone is going to share more anecdotes, this is the moment. If not, I might have to go on a tangent. Um, I should wait a second after saying that, instead of just going on a tangent right now. Hi! Hello, Amadeo. How are you doing? Hello, Mark. How are you doing? How have you been? I can definitely understand Spanish, but just can't really keep up on conversation. Interesting. I didn't, I, I didn't know what your exact level of Spanish was, but if you can understand, then I can definitely count you. As you know, part of the audience that speaks Spanish. Um, that reminds me when apparently the first time my grandmother took me to a church, I was like, Grandma, why did you take me to a castle? That's not embarrassing. Churches definitely look like what we would consider castles. I mean, nowadays, it's the, the, the closest you can get without seeing an actual castle. At least a rock python confirmed. <laughs> Nobody mentioned Doctor Who? Hey, now that you mentioned Doctor Who. <laughs> have I been to have I told you that I've been trying to see it with my father when they like uh the the first few seasons which are the only good ones? Actually now that I think about it, um Miguel said that she was that he was gonna start watching Doctor Who. Uh, no, they don't. Oh, I know. Oh, you know what? A castle church would be cool, though. Churches, uh, look... The thing is, churches are pretty much maintained from the, um, the time that church... Like, churches and castles, right? There were churches back on the time where there were castles. Most churches maintain themselves from that period and even through renovations they kind of like keep the same aesthetic so it's not uncommon to like it's not it's very understandable to see why you would see a church and feel like oh this is castle vibes you know especially as a kid when you don't know much of anything um I can understand Spanish a bit, only because it's similar to my native language. Though I'm interested to hear at least in Spanish. My Spanish is a little bit weird because I feel subconscious about my natural accent, which is Argentinian. Uh, I've spoken about this before, but Argentinians speak very, very, very differently from every other country that speaks Spanish. We have some things very much unique to our own country. Um, sounds that other countries just don't use at all. And I don't understand why we were just like, we're special, I guess. We, we thought that we were special or something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't like that. I feel very self-conscious about it. My first crush was so embarrassing. I was like, hey, you know I like you, right? Half the class already knows already. Isn't that a mood? I'm pretty sure everyone, everyone knew about my crushes in like elementary school and kindergarten. Kids are very, very bad at hiding that stuff. It lasted three days, I was so vocal and I was so happy I told everyone, then it disappeared after three days. That tracks, that tracks with kids. How can you type so fast, Sippy? 
None of us in virus beyond, comprehen be beyond comprehension. Language is hard. Language is hard. Um, that being said, I love languages and I want to learn more languages. I want to learn Korean. I want to learn Japanese. I want to learn Tagalog. I want to I wanna know... I want to know at least six languages, seven languages. It would be intensely cool. It would be so cool. But no French. Um, indeed, you use fingers. That based. <laughs> I mean, that's the trick is not using your tongue to type. That makes it really, really slow. The moment you start using your fingers, like productivity improves a lot, especially with typing. Um, me suffering in multilingual. What are your languages? It's definitely English and Tagalog. I know that for sure. D what else do you speak, Luna? I remember when I was playing a gig at a bar for a summer job back in 2019. The drinks were completely free, I ended up drinking too much and toppled down a stack of amps. Ouch! Oh no! Did they, did, they, did they charge you for it? Did they charge you for it? Bad. Eli suena muy adorable cuando hablo en español. You tricked me into saying something in Spanish. Good for you. Good for you. <laughs> I just don't know if I would be able to maintain an entire stream on Spanish just because I am conscious of how I'm speaking when I'm speaking in Spanish. Je ne comprends pas. Je ne, je ne, com, je ne comprends. Je ne comprends pas. Maybe. I don't know. I just started my first Japanese lesson in a month and felt immense suffering. Japanese is not easy, but I believe in you. I believe in you. Plus, you've studied Japanese before, I think. So, you can do it. Ganbare or ganbate. I don't know the difference between those two. That's why I feel very, very uncomfortable saying random words in Japanese because I don't know. <laughs> I'm good with the pizza language and a bit of English. Pizza language? Oh, you mean Italian? I can only speak two languages, and I'm not even good at both. <laughs> ah, the bilingual experience. Speak two languages, be bad at both of them. <laughs> Amps as an amplifiers. And no, they didn't charge me, but embarrassing uh, nonetheless. Yes, embarrassing nonetheless. Thankfully, they didn't charge you for them. That would have eaten... A significant portion of whatever you got paid in that bar, probably. Or all of it. Aside from English and Tagalog, I can do basic Japanese and Korean, but trying to relearn Arabic since I used to be fluent. You used to be fluent in Arabic? That is so cool. The Arabic alphabet scares me a little bit. It's just... It looks so... hard to understand. Um, not worse than the Japanese, <laughs> for sure, like Japanese and Chinese, you look at it and it's like, ah, this looks like pain, but <laughs> Arabic also looks very complicated. Um, I don't understand in French, I'm get, I, I, I assumed it was that, because like, it's very similar to Spanish. Reading... Reading Latin-based languages sometimes as a as a native like Spanish speaker, I can kind of grasp a general meaning of what something might might be, but then how to actually pronounce it is an entirely different story. Like if I read if I read someone speaking in Portuguese, um, particularly if it's Brazilian Portuguese and not Portuguese Portuguese. Uh, then I can probably understand them. Like, I could probably talk with someone from Brazil just by typing to each other in our respective languages. The moment I'm supposed to read some something um, on Portuguese out loud, forget it. I'd rather, I'd rather um, bury myself in dirt. Like, it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> I studied Japanese for almost 300 days and learned very little. Well, it's a hard language. That's, that's just that's just it. It's a very hard language. Uh, I speak fluent Maltese. That's an unusual one. 
Love that, love that. Um, it's not an alphabet, it's a, an abjad. There are no vowels. Wow, that is interesting and now intimidates me even more. Ooh, you know what I wish I could... What the freak is going on? Two helicopters? Two helicopters in one day? What the freak? What the hell is happening? Um, now, now that you said that, uh, Mal you said Maltese and that reminded me, one of the languages I really wish I could, uh, learn is Hawaiian. I learned the other day that one of the rules of the language is that every single consonant has to be followed by a vowel. And just knowing that little fact, I'm like, wow, that is interesting. I want to learn more interesting stuff about it. And now I really want to, now, now I really want to add it to the list. Stop it! Stop it! Stop flying over my area! Please! Can you wait an hour? Can you just wait one hour? <laughs> Can you say what time it is in what time is it in Japanese? Um. Hmm. I feel like at some point I learned it. I feel like at some point I knew how to say that. But definitely not right now. Um, mm, struggling very hard. But no. No, I can't. Stop it. Ah. Um... Honestly, I feel very happy to return to learning my native language more, aka Spanish. I hope, I hope you are not being fluent, bilingual, and happy about it. Because uh, it's really fun to know more languages, I feel like. I feel like it's really fun to know more than one language. That way you can just switch and mix and match and make new words that are just bullshit that don't really mean anything. <laughs> I don't know, I just, I find having fun with languages so, so fun. Um, Maltese is very similar to Arabic. It's one of the only Semitic languages in Europe, I think. That is interesting. I cannot believe the amount of things flying over my area. Swear, swear to God, it makes no sense whatsoever. Jeez. Anyway, so yeah. Uh, languages are great. I love knowing more than one language and just playing with language and bastardizing language. It's um, it's very fun. It's very fun. Um, I, I, I've gotten to the point in which I will purposefully mispronounce stuff um, in English when I'm talking to someone that like knows what I'm talking about. Like only UFO missing. It's little like I'm, I'm. I'm just so shocked. I've never, never heard so many helicopters on one day. Like, what is what is the reason? What is the point? I'm really, really confused. Hoping it's not something bad. I actually learned the Russian alphabet a few years ago, but slowly forgot most of it. That is the problem with languages, is that if you don't keep engaging with them, you will literally just forget. Um, so like, as I said, I did at one point learn how to say a few things in Japanese. Um, I definitely knew how to ask what time is it, but definitely that happened way too long ago, and I haven't engaged with Japanese nearly as much as I should have. Because, like, yeah, you could say, oh, I watch anime. I engage with Japanese. But that's not, not, not enough. That's not enough. <laughs> not nearly. Um, oh, and I had to study ancient Greek for classical. <gasps> ancient Greek! Ooh, that is cool. That is so cool. Actually, that is incredibly cool. That is so neat. That is so neat. Hey, guys, be right back. I'll take just one... Is one minute too much? Maybe half a minute. Be right back in half a minute. I'll be, I'll be right, 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 right back.
How was that? Was it less than a minute? Was it less than a minute? I think it has to have been rather than a minute. With the, the less than a minute. Um, and there is the rare BRB screen, everyone. Rare. Um, I mean, I've only used it maybe three or four times in the course of six months. So I would say it's rare. I would say it's rare. Um, chilling music. I think you should take the Duolingo curse on Klingon. <laughs> there are so many languages to learn and you want me to learn a fictional one that I'll never engage with ever. <laughs> no, you know what? If I were to learn a fictional language, I would rather learn Elvish from Tolkien. Just because like, elves, man, elves, elves are super cool. Elves are really, really super cool, super neat. Um, I think 1 minute and 12 seconds, kinda. Uh, I wanted it to be less than a minute. I wanted it to be less than a minute. But nobody was properly counting, so... We can assume. I can, I can just live with my imagination. I can just pretend in my own head. <laughs> I just got out of class early, let's go! Congratulations on getting out of class early. I hope you have a good. Uh, I hope you have a good rest of your day. I hope you get to enjoy the rest of your afternoon now that you have nothing to do, supposedly. I don't know, maybe you have sports or something. So, since not, not a lot of topics are coming out um, organically, let me tell you guys. This last weekend, um, this last weekend, this last weekend? No, it was a week. It was a week, two weeks? I don't remember. Um, this last few weeks, I don't remember exactly when, was the Steam Next Fest. And it's the first time I have ever participated in a fest, and by fest I mean, like participated, I mean the first time I actually downloaded demos and tried out games and tried to leave feedback, I left a very little feedback, but it was so interesting. If nobody has ever done a fest, I highly recommend it. It was, it was such a unique experience. And now I can confidently point at some games, like, I do have a pol- a pol- politic? A politic? Uh, no, I don't like how that sounds. I do have a policy, there you go. I do have a policy of only having wishlisted items high on my list if they are already out, so all of my wishlisted items that haven't come out should be on the bottom, very bottom of my list, but it is very nice to know for a fact just how much I will enjoy a game and just what kind of experience a game will give me without actually like playing the game in a way that matters because the fact that they are demos means that the experience has been A, tailored so that it fits on a demo or B, cut short um, like not just in time, but also in mechanics. But also, it means that it can change, that it, is sub sub that it is subject to change depending on the feedback they get. So it was very, very interesting, and um, I got a lot of games that I know exactly how good or bad they would be to stream thanks to trying the demos out. So, I'm just very happy that I did the fest and I'm so very happy with the experience. And I talked to my friends and absolutely no one had done a fest ever. So I decided to talk about it here. Because I think, you know what? Fests are freaking cool. I don't think a lot of people take advantage of them. Um, I was in class for like two minutes. What kind of class was that? What kind of class do you have for two minutes? In the future, just say, I'll be back in two shakes of Valamia's sale, so we don't have to count. <laughs> it was more like a challenge thingy. I was trying to challenge myself to make sure that I was fast. It didn't work. 
My internet just go fixed. Oh, you were gone? Wait, but you just commented on the VRV screen. What happened? What do you mean? So is that about learning German or Swedish? By the way, how do you feel about interacting or dating with trans boys, Ellie's? Um, so German is one that I tried to learn, but they do have the umlaut, which sounds like the French U, and that is one of the hardest sounds for me. Like, it's absolutely one of the most challenging sounds I ever tried to make. Uh, no, I use my phone. Oh, I get it. Um, in Swedish, I haven't heard enough to know anything about it. But with German, definitely, 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 I was very interested at one point. And, um, like, I know a couple of words. I don't even know if I remember what they mean. I think zurück would be back. And then, um... Kinder, which is children, but that's not a hard one. Everyone knows it because of the kinder eggs. And then... Wow, I don't remember anything. Forgetsen? For forget? Oh boy, I forgot everything I knew about it. That's your answer. I was interested in German, but I, it, is, it is intimidating because of the umlaut. Um, how do I feel about interacting or dating trans boys? Um, they're just boys. Just... I, it's literally just the same as boys to me. Um, to be honest, I don't think I've ever heard about something like that, but sounds like a good time investment. The thing is, the um, by being demos, they're all very short, and also by being demos, you're not super invested in them. Like, you didn't buy it, it was just there for free. So if you open it for 10 minutes and don't vibe with it, you can close it again. In fact, I have several games that um, I tried and I was like, oh, this one looks so good. And then it wouldn't work or something. Like, there was one that looked very, very good. And 10 minutes into the game, like, there was an area that I couldn't get through because one of the, like, it kept prompting me to, like, hit this button. And I was like, okay, I'm hitting that button. It's not doing anything. And the game was like, you have to hit this button. That's how you get, has, that's how you progress through this part of the tutorial. And I was like, I am pressing every single button and nothing is happening. <laughs> so a lot of demos that last no time at all. A lot of demos that like, there was this one demo that I stopped literally halfway through it because I already knew I wanted the game, period. Whenever that one game comes out, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to buy it because I fell in love with it and I didn't need I didn't need more than half a demo for that. And then there are and then there are games that just you feel that they are so so close. Um, they they are lacking just that tiny little bit of polish. And then you go into the the community hub and you see the feedback and everyone is thinking or saying the same thing. So you're like, oh my god, leaving feedback so rewarding because a lot of people are saying the same thing and the developer is like we have considered your feedback and we have changed this or that it's super it's super fulfilling um and it takes very little time to test things also it helped me take some stuff out of my wish list i think there were two or three titles uh on my wish list that i got to try through the demos and i was mm, very less than happy with them um, not saying that they were bad games, one of them was, one of them was a really bad game, but just it allows you to test the true experience of the game and know if it's for you or not. One of them looked very good, and I'm sure it is, for someone who is not me. For me, not so much, but it, it, it did sound like a good game, it's just not for me, you know? But I wouldn't have known that if I hadn't tried the demo. And I'm glad that it's not on my wish list anymore. Because if I had bought it and then I had tried to play it and I realized it's not for me, I would have been a lot more upset. I think it was three. Three, maybe. Um, well, we made today a catch-up day. What is a catch-up day? 
What does that mean? <laughs> I used my phone. We were without internet since Monday. Damn. Well, I'm super glad that you fixed it. Also, how did you not waste all of your data since Monday? That is practically a week. That is practically a week. Be careful with your data. Can't blame them. It takes tough times to understand. Um, I assume you mean... Swedish? German? I learned German for nine years and I'm still not sure of it. In one year, out the other. Um, in classical studies, we also go over Greek mythology, and my teacher did reference the tale of Lamia. So maybe you know it better than I do, because last time uh, on Tuesday I was trying to talk about it, and I realized how I definitely forgot all of the details. I was like sure that at some point there's like eyes on a jar and baby snatching and compulsory baby eating, but I don't remember enough for those details to make sense. <laughs> um, one of the dogs just opened my door. I remember there was a demo I played with matching voices, voice flaps for all the voice acting. Bought the game, as soon as the demo portion ends, voice flaps so generic, I felt duped. Oh, that is shit. That is so shit. But, um, but at least you could, um, return it you know if um if if you play less than two hours i think on a game that you bought less than two months ago you can return it on steam they do have a refund policy thankfully um both i mean i was sick so i did sleep a lot this week oh so less data consumed good 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 good, good. Speaking of games on your wish list, uh, when will you be getting into all the games we voted into the tier list? Um, so for Mighty du for Mighty Goose, which was on the tier list, oh, but I I would have to check the ones that were S tier, like played on stream. Let me check. Let me check. Open. I'm gonna I'm gonna check it right now. Mm, where did I save it? I think here. Nope. Uh, how about here? Nope. <laughs> How about here? Okay, there it is, there it is. So, stream. The ones to stream. Alright, so um Mighty Goose. Mighty Goose is on the on the stream tab. It's going to be stream whenever they release the DLC. I was going to stream it between the Shantes. Uh, instead of doing short games, I was gonna I was gonna do Mighty Goose, but then I checked Steam, I was I was so ready. I was so ready. I made the thumbnail and everything. I have the thumbnail fully prepared and I'm very proud of it. I really like how it came out. I have the thumbnail ready, but then I open Steam to download it and then it says the notice Mighty Goose is getting a free DLC first quarter of 2022 and I'm like, oh Oh, so soon soon enough that I can wait for it Soon enough that I probably shoot and stream it before the DLC comes out. Damn it! So I shelved it. But it's coming very soon. The pedestrian is also something that I feel like uh, we, we're gonna do very soon. Um, and then near, near is I'm assuming it's very long. I have heard that it has several, several, several endings. So. I'm thinking it should be after I'm done with all the shanties. I don't know how feasible that is. I don't know. I have to really think about what I'm going to do with Mir. And then Disco Elysium. I said that I would stream it maybe on Discord. Maybe because it can be complicated for YouTube. Um, before your eyes. I'm hoping before your eyes will happen once I get a, um, a better iPhone so that I can use iPhone for the model tracking and webcam for the game. I've heard that it's very complicated to run the game if you only have one tracking device. And that covers pretty much all of the all of the titles except Return of the Oberdin and There Is No Game. We'll get to them eventually. We'll definitely get to them eventually. Right now, um, the next one is going to be Everhood. I bought it and everything. 
I have it. I have it. It's 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 ready to go. It's ready to go. Um. Also, after the stream, I'll take a nap. You should. You should. Oh wait! I just noticed that the person who talked about games was no face. I never said hello to you. Welcome. Hello. How are you doing? It's been a while. Sorry, I didn't recognize it before. It's just that I now I recognize the the two dots and no no username before. Um, love your avatar, Snake of the Best. Thank you. Welcome, Jevry AC, J V R I J V R Y A C, Jevry, Jevry. I don't know how to call you. How how should I, should I call you? How should I call you? This was a long time ago. Also, it was on Xbox. The fact that I remember it reflects how salty I got. <laughs> yeah, I understand. I would I would be salty too. I would be salty too. What if the DLC is Vaporwave? Would that be a problem? What is Vaporwave? What is Vaporwave? Is that a problem? Um... Is Cleo Luo a bot? I'm assuming since I didn't even see them, I'm gonna say yes. If someone writes randomly capitalized two-word messages with a random dot, it's a bot. Yep. Yep, that is a bot. I've recognized several of them. Um, I... I haven't been enough of a mod for others that I've snatched a lot of bots. But I, I did get a couple of them once and it was I was very proud. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess YouTube is really isn't really a good platform though. I do, I love YouTube as a platform, but some some games I would rather not put in here. Disco Elysium in particular, I, I, I've heard for some, some friends, like personally friends of mine who really got kind of messed up after playing Disco Elysium for a bit. Um, I don't know exactly why, because I've never opened it or anything, but I've heard that it can be kind of rough for some people, mentally speaking, like that it puts people on a certain mental mental place. Um, oh boy, I have to stop playing with this. Uh, I broke it horribly already. Um, <laughs> lol, I'm a sneaky sneak. Hello, hello, how are you doing? It's been a while, for real, for real. Um, it's always nice to see you around. I hope you'll enjoy Everhood. There's nothing to be afraid of. It's not Dark Souls. Vaporware. It's software that's announced but never released. I heard something falling. Yeah, it's a part of my nail clipper. I broke it again. I broke it again. Well, if it's Vaporwave, I think I would notice. Uh, vaporware, not Vaporwave. Vaporware. If it's Vaporware... Um, I recommend strongly against streaming it. That's the feeling I have. That's the feeling I have. Uh, I really want to play it, but not maybe not for stream. It sounds like it might be, mm, you know, complicated. Um, no, if it was paperware, I guess it would be easy to notice when um, when the first half of 2022 is done or when the first quarter. When is the first quarter ending? On April, right? So if by the end of April the DLC is not out, then I would know that it was it was not happening. Cause it says it says Mighty Goose free DLC update coming Q2022. Um so that should be that should be March or April. Right? And then once it's released, or once the quarter is gone, we're gonna play it. We're gonna play Mighty Goose. Um, a quarter is three months. I'm done. Right, so if it's not done by the end of March... <laughs> Actually, if it's not done by the end of the next Shantae. Because that's that was the plan. The plan was to have it as a, as a Shantae buffer. So, we're gonna start Shanti as soon as a short hike is done. I am, I am through waiting. I am through waiting. We need to set the next Shanti. I'm excited. I, I want to play the next Shanti. She is calling me. 
I can't wait to see the the very very talked about half Genie Hero. Um, very excited to see if it's a reboot, if it's a sequel, what the hell is going on with it. Um, excited to see the new art style, and excited to see what they mix and match from previous games because so far the every shante has like tweaked the last game's formula a little bit in a way that keeps it feeling familiar and i'm really excited to see what that turns into for half Genie hero i can't wait i can't wait i'm so excited but we're gonna finish a shore hike and then go for shante and then after Shante, we're gonna do Mighty Goose. I have been planning. I have been planning in advance. <laughs> I've been trying to maintain organization. I've been trying to keep uh, to be good streamer. I keep being bad streamer in the sense of scuff and forgetting to turn the BGM off and forgetting to turn the desktop music <laughs> off. But other than that, I'm trying real hard. Um. Oh man, I forgot I have to go to the dentist after the stream. You're gonna be okay. Don't panic about it. I know that it sucks, and I know that it's hard, and I know that sometimes it's very painful or bothersome, especially when they when they give you that fluor fluoride fluoride thing. Um, but it's all right. It's important. It's important for your health, and that's what matters. You have to do it because it's important. Sounds like you got your schedule ready, really thought out. As far as the main, like the Friday games, I have. I have thought about the Friday games quite a bit. Um, I think I have pretty much everything figured out for every Friday for a long time. I'm not gonna say forever, but I'm gonna say for a long time. The, 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 the rest of the schedule is the thing that I mostly struggle to define week by week. Tuesdays and Thursdays. Sometimes I wonder, should I just add a Wednesday in here? Should I just, should I be drawing more? Should I be doing more more games? Um, should I be trying new stuff? Should it be, you know, I'll have a Duolingo stream coming up soon. Should I do it on a Tuesday? Should I do it on a Thursday? Should it be like a replacement for one of the games of the week? Or should it be like replacement for art that kind of stuff is the kind of stuff that i normally end up struggling with but the fridays the fridays are reserved for a bit for a bit uh you're not a bad streamer at this point scuff is part of the deal and last stream was harmlessly scuff and hilarious <laughs> you know you know i just I, I i just i just have very high expectations of myself Actually, I saw a TikTok yesterday that was... I know I just said that I don't have TikTok. I never see TikToks on TikTok. I just... I just see TikToks posted, reposted on other places. Um, but I saw a TikTok yesterday that was a person saying, like, you don't need to be perfect. You don't need to be great. You don't even need to be good. But I do! I need to be all those things all the time! And I never I never felt more attacked. I gotta be honest, I feel very attacked. <laughs> I felt that it was done specifically to hurt me. Yeah. Um It's about my braces, so I'm not worried at all. It's just I wanna sleep after the stream. Oh, you're right. Well, you're gonna get the braces done and then as soon as you get home you can literally plop into the bed and pass out <laughs> will you ever do a second playthrough of needy streamer i wanted to do a poll for that and see if i do it next week depending on the poll i'm gonna do the poll both on the community tab on youtube and on twitter actually i'll do it on saturday i'll schedule it right now to go off on twitter on saturday and I have to figure out if I can schedule posts as well. I never figured it out. I, I, I never... I still haven't gotten super educated about... Um, about the, the post in, in, in the community tab, how it works. Um, oh! For anyone who has Epic... 
Uh, Dauntless Epic Slayer Kid is free now on Epic. <laughs> this is so, it's really weird to be just looking at stuff while I stream. Why did I open this? Why did I open this? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I opened this because of the languages, of the languages. I wanted to see if I got many, but this doesn't really say languages because I don't have any subtitles. Therefore, it doesn't really tell me much. It just says uh, that like people from the United States seem to be the most, 27%. And then Ireland, Italy, United Kingdom. So, probably not, not, not enough Spanish. Probably not enough Spanish. That's why I opened it. And I was gonna open something different. Twitter! I was gonna open Twitter! I was gonna open Twitter to do to get a poll going and scheduling. Not right now, but like to leave it open to as a reminder of myself to myself. Um TikTok is quality filter. If one breaches containment, it means it's possibly actually cut. Exactly. I don't need TikTok. I can consume TikToks outside of TikTok. Actually I've been obsessed with one lately that um that is just really funny. Um if you've seen it, you know, but it's one about the PS5. It's so funny. I'll try to I'll try to find it and post it on Discord. I don't remember where I saw it though. <laughs> I should check if there's a subreddit of curated TikTok. Yes. Yes. Um I play that game, I'm not really a fan of it, but the soundtrack of that game is quite interesting. The Needy Streamer, the soundtrack is... I have like part of the soundtrack that I really like, and then part of the soundtrack that makes me really like... Not stressed, but it, that is not really my vibe at all. That's going to give people on Twitter two votes. But the problem with the community tab is that it doesn't give much notifications, so a lot of people might miss it. Um, Dauntless rings the bell. Is that the Monster Hunter quote? I have no idea. I just got the notification uh, and I'm not gonna check it while I'm stream because like, come on. I'm doing something and this is more important. <laughs> Epic has to bribe people with free games to leave Steam. Oh, I'm not leaving Steam. I'm not leaving Steam. Who said I'm leaving Steam? I'm just taking advantage of this. <laughs> it's that simple. And if I like a game very, very, very much, and if I'm ever in an economical, stable position to support indie creators, why not buy it, I guess? You know, to support. Um, Dauntless is watered down Monster Hunter? Okay, now we know. That's the answer. Bro, my friend just sent me a post about a dog sticking his head through a hole because he smells someone cooking steak. Well, dogs will do that. I mean, some people will do that. Some people will smell something outside and stick their heads through a window, so it's not that different. I think of it as playing catch up with Steam. Play people have massive Steam libraries built over time. Epic wants to give a slow head start to people. Well, I really appreciate what Epic is doing, because it has allowed me to play games that I normally wouldn't have played before. Um, like, the reason I play Subnautica at all was because it was free on Epic. And now that I love Subnautica, when I want to play Subnautica below, below zero, I'll probably buy it on Steam. That's what most people do, right? <laughs> Hola, Lady Alicia. Hola, Anna. How are you doing? Hello, welcome. How's it been? How's the, how's the job doing? How's that, that job that you got last time doing? Um, how to solve the problem of people on Twitter having more votes for the poll? I mean, the thing is that I have to announce it somehow. Or else people might not be able to catch it. Because YouTube doesn't allow for, um, for notifications on community posts. Welcome to the stream, fictional city of Dark Souls. <laughs> I forget that that name is a reference to Dark Souls. I've never played it. So much stuff, I love it. More relaxed than full stuff. Nice. Nice to hear that. Nice to hear that it's getting better. 
I ended up buying Borderlands 3 on Epic because I, it was available before Steam and I was impatient. That's a strategy. That's a strategy. If there's a game that you really, really want on launch day, you're not gonna wait until it releases on Steam. You're just gonna buy it. Just tweet about the poll in the community tab. Uh, oh, I can... Can I post links on Twitter? Can I post links on Twitter? I do fear that Twitter is going to ax the performance of it if it, if it detects that there's a, a link to somewhere else. But I guess we're gonna have to risk it. Um, I guess we're gonna have to risk it. Because I, I do want to consider... I do want to consider more people than just whoever stumbles upon the community's post. Um, and I am also very aware that sometimes people on Twitter might be like VTuber friends or people who don't necessarily watch the streams. So they probably should have less mm, weight their votes. I would love to see Lady Alicia play from software games. N n no, 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 listen, 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 listen. Uh, no. <laughs> I understand. And I, I don't have anything against them. But I am not a skilled gamer. I am not someone who could deal with games that are universally known as get good games. I barely, barely, barely managed to go through Celeste. And it's because Celeste has... Damn, neighbors being that loud. Anyways, um, I barely got through Celeste, and that is because Celeste has a lot of, like, um, difficulty settings. They are rage quit, rage quit games, exactly. Uh, Elden Ring stream when? Never. <laughs> First of all, I know that it's punishing. Second of all, um, everyone and their mother is just playing it. I feel like I feel like I've never seen a game getting so played as I've seen this one. Uh, there was a time when any poll you posted on your community tab was pushed to everyone who's ever viewed your channel, regardless of whether or not they're subscribed. Interesting. Celeste is a great game. I really love Celeste, and I really love that it does have those difficulty customizers, because sometimes you want to give yourself a challenge. And sometimes you've been through that challenge enough times that you just want to be done with it. You're like, okay, I accept the feat. I'm not good enough. I don't have the patience to get good enough. I am an adult with responsibilities and I can't just waste my life getting good. So, you know, I appreciate difficulty modifiers a lot. I really like Celeste and I think it has a really good, a really good system of customization for the difficulty. Um, it's definitely some good content, but I think there could be too much salt in it with me specifically. I think it would be boring. I legitimately think it would be so boring. You would just see me fail literally every 10 minutes. We would never get past the first 15 minutes of game. Ever. Ever. About Elden Ring, I heard an advice. Don't get good. Game wants to kill you, then cheese it as hard as you can. Can you cheese it? How can you cheese it? Isn't the whole point of those kind of games that you have to just get good at it and that's it? That Castle of Shantae though? We don't speak about it. <laughs> I do I do pretty well on Shantae. I, 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 yeah, it takes me about four times as long as it takes normal people to go through it. But I warned you from the beginning that I wasn't a good gamer. I never pretended to be good at games. I, you know, it, it's on you guys if you expect better of me. <laughs> but Dark Souls is not hard. It's just a trial and error game. It's normal to lose the same boss or area 40 times. Does that sound fun to you? I, it feels so frustrating. Like, it sounds so frustrating. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. It sounds incredibly boring. Very boring. And, 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 
and not good to watch. Hollow Knight is really good. Have you played ever? Have you ever played Hollow Knight? I never played Hollow Knight, but I have seen um, playthroughs of Hollow Knight, so I do know everything that happens. Um, in fact, Hollow Knight holds the spot of the game that has made me laugh the most out of every game I've ever seen or played ever. I really, really love Hollow Knight. But as I said, I, I have watched all of it. I could still play it, because I, I haven't played it myself, but I have watched all of it, so... Um, Dark Souls were linear games, so it wasn't easy, but Elden Ring is an open world, so if you struggle with something, you can leave it for later and just explore around. Oh! Oh, so it changes the formula up a little bit? Interesting, I didn't know that. Lady Alicia would be perfect for Hollow Knight. Blasphemous, Death Gambit, Sultan Sanctuary, Dark Devotions, and Death Cells. I actually have played a lot of Death Cells, um, but I gave up not too long ago. I had to do a hard reset of the game, and I had to restart without any of the tools upgraded, without any of the abilities to go through the different parts of the levels. Um, although they released a new DLC that I haven't tested yet, so I probably should go back to it to try it out. Uh, um, but yeah, I have played Dead Cells actually. I have! Hollow Knight is brilliant, once in a lifetime experience. When it comes to difficult games, I much prefer DMC, which punishes you hard for getting reckless, but gives you fair chance rather than make everything as unintuitive as possible like Dark Souls. Um, when it comes to difficulty in games, I really, I really, really, really can only take it if it's a game that will allow you to customize your playstyle a lot and not have a playstyle that is better than others. Like in Dead Cells, I really like using traps a lot. I really, really, really use traps a lot and also specific weapon types. And if I couldn't, use those specific weapon types, um, it would be hor a horrible experience. So really, I appreciate a game that is hard, but it allows you to dip out of the challenge whenever you're ready, or that it gives you tools so that the challenge won't be that bad. There's no transformation sequence to getting good on these games though. You die at some parts and then you figure it out. Speaking of rage games, will you ever play the fish game? Yes. You know what? You know what? How about this? How about this? How about this? Um, we do the six month anniversary and I do the debut reaction and then for monetization celebration and or one year anniversary we do rage games. How about that? How does that sound? Does it sound good? Is that is that a special enough occasion? What do you what do you what do you get? What do you guys think? Miguel out of nowhere? Hello! Hi Miguel, how are you doing? Um, uh, Devil May Cry for the PS2 era were difficult. Hi Miguel, hello! How are you Miguel? How have you been doing? Uh, earlier before we talked about doing a, a Spanish stream and I was mentioning how I don't really have a lot of English uh, Spanish speakers in the chat and I couldn't remember the name of your friend, the one with the toucan profile picture. What was his name? Something with A and a PH and an S, but I don't remember the name. Alicia, do you know the game Jump King? I've heard about it. I haven't seen a single playthrough because I think it could be something that I do eventually if you guys strong arm me into it. <laughs> I don't think any game has more customization than Path of Exile. Unfortunately, I didn't vibe with Path of Exile. I have tried it. I have tried it, and I don't. Mm, I don't. I didn't really like it. I didn't really like it. Dark Souls became a classic because it came out during a period where games were perceived to be getting very easy and casual. Oh, so it's context-based. There's way to cheese from software games. Um, the way to cheese from software games are not fun. I love to beat the games fair and square. I don't. 
I don't. If a game is too challenging, I have no qualms for cheating. I don't care. If a game is too hard, I'm like, okay, I'm done with this. I'm, I'm through. I don't have the time. I don't have the patience. <laughs> Um, Path of Exile looks interesting. I want to try it. You should. I think everyone should try um, free games because, like, you're not investing your your money and you're trying it out and see if if you like it. Uh, I personally tried it and I tried like several character types to see if I've ever vibed and I couldn't. I just couldn't. Spanish streams. That would be perfect. Uh, that would be perfect. Um, I... Uh, should I... I'll make a Spanish stream if and when I call up with... Um, if and when I call up with Yomi or... Or, and, and actually. And if I find a way of adding captions live on stream. If not, I don't want to isolate anyone, you know? I don't want to isolate anyone. Uh, Path of Exile also asks for a massive time investment for each customization. That's why I bounced off of it. That's another thing that I didn't vibe with. Um, I, I had a few friends that got really invested into the leagues. And it was the friends that we would play other stuff with. Smite or um, Rose of Rain or stuff like that. In every league, uh, I would be left alone for gaming. So I don't appreciate it. I don't appreciate the leagues. <laughs> uh, well, that's fine. I play Path of Exile in Burst and then leave it for a few months. Do you play Path of Exile for the leagues? Are you like my friends? Um, well, whenever you want to do a salty stream with a simple mechanic game, Jump King is perfect, um, though for your sanity I do not recommend to play it. I know that it's like one of those ragey games, so it would be for a very special occasion. Like, I listen, I'm not against the idea of playing rage games, but it's gonna have to happen on special occasions. You can't expect that of me on any random day, okay? Not, not on any random game. Demon Souls and Dead Space came out for the perfect time. Is that... Are those other games that are well known for being difficult and punishing and stuff? You first need to ask Yomi, first of all. Second of all, I can help with some translation. Um, I wanna ask Mim, actually. I know that she has a tool that gives her live captions in English and in Japanese. So if that is customizable, I don't know what it is, I don't know what that tool is, and I don't know how to use it, and I don't know how to get it. But if that was possible to customize, then that would be interesting. I would like that. And also about talk, uh, asking Yomi, I, I was waiting until I felt better after the whole surgery thing, so that I could talk with her if she if she was okay with chatting with me. This is the part where I get shy and embarrassed, but if she was okay with chatting with me, I was waiting until I felt better so that so that we could chat and I would I would feel okay. <laughs> I I'm really I'm really looking forward to contacting her. Um, that is one of the goals that I set for myself this year to actually dare speaking to some VTubers that I really like. So first Yomi, then who knows? Evie? I don't know. I don't know if I'll dare. She is very big. She is a very big VTuber uh, compared to me. And I don't know if I'll dare, but uh, Yomi, at least Yomi I'll talk to. <laughs> Um, Anor, I beat Quilag on the first try because I accidentally got into a corner where she somehow couldn't reach me with most of the times. I feel guilty not replaying though, I still almost lost. Actually, I had, um, I, I think I told you guys that I have a friend that has been streaming Shante. Um, and at one point I was like, dude, why are you not using the monster milk? The monster milk gives you more, more attack damage. Um, and you haven't even tried it. He tried it, beat one boss on the first try, or the second try or something, and he was like, this wasn't rewarding enough. 
Like, this felt bad. I just bullied him too much. He was the Squid Baron. Uh, I just bullied him too much. I don't feel okay with this. And then he just reloaded and went against him without without the monster milk. <laughs> because he felt guilty. Um, no leaks on Path of Exile change every few months. And any progress in, in them gets deleted. So I wouldn't get anywhere. I only play Standard League. Ah, okay. In in interesting. Uh, very different from what my friends used to do. Demon Souls started it all, but Dark Souls was game of the decade. Mm, so they came out at the same time, kind of? Or Demon Souls came out before? For a door that's hell crazy. That it can happen? The, 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 that you can get a bug that allows you to win easily? <sighs> my god. Did you guys see the, um, or maybe not, probably didn't see, but apparently um, Markiplier won the latest Five Nights at Freddy's because of a bug. Apparently he skipped the entire second half of the last fight <laughs> because of a bug. Very, very weird bugs can happen. Um... We are talking. To, uh, we are all talking about trial and error games. <laughs> oh, sweet! I'm sure she loved to. She's such a cinema role. Talk to Kato. I have talked to her. Um, I'm, but I it never went anywhere. I will now that I'm feeling better. That's another thing that I'm gonna do. I'm gonna approach Megan, um, and see if she feels like talking. But you know, no pressure. If she doesn't vibe with me, it's perfectly all right. Um, and if she's too shy or something, it's also perfectly alright. But I will contact her again and try again. Um, that's me, Monster Hunter. Kills monsters using we weapons alone. Uh, Demon Souls came out in 2009, Dark Souls in 2011. Well, given that, given that making games is really hard and such a long process, I would guess that it was already in process. Dark Souls, even though it came out after it, two years doesn't seem like enough to make a full game. Um, not one of the scope of Dark Souls, as far as I understand it. She reads stuff and forgets to respond a lot. Yeah, I will. That's why I will contact her again and like... No, but I, I'm not the kind of person who will put a lot of strain on people. I'm not the kind of person who will like... Sometimes people don't talk to me for a couple of days and then they remember and they're like, Oh my god, I'm so sorry I didn't answer. Uh, and it's like, chill, don't worry about it. I know that you're like a person with a life. <laughs> that you have stuff going on. That there are things happening. Um, I think one of the bad things that social media has done is there's so many people used to getting an immediate answer that they kind of take it as something that has to happen. They feel like entitled to it. Um, and then a lot of people feel guilty if they don't answer right away or if they forget to answer and stuff. But I think it's important to remember that everyone is a whole human with a whole life full of complications like duties and emotional states and tiredness and social skill differences and you know i always want people to feel comfortable with uh with messaging me and never to feel like they have to feel guilty because oh my god i didn't answer in time ah thank you for thank you for the donation cookies hi <laughs> Thank you. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Uh, are you still here, actually? Um, Thank you. Thank you so much for the donation. <laughs> yes, I've noticed that. Meme has a subscriber who demands attention. It's very annoying. Um, People are very used to getting instant responses. Um, and I, I think it's really important to remember that, like, not everyone. Donations are scary! <laughs> I just always get a little bit startled by the sudden, sudden sound. Um, and also, 
this is something I have to get better at, and I'm aware, but I'm also the kind of person who really worries about everyone, and every time the little voice in my head goes, is this okay? But, um, but, but I also have to remember that people are not dumb, and people are doing this willingly, so uh, I have to not patronize people by doubting the donations, so... I have to get better at it. I have to get better at it. Need to put a screamer as a donation set. <laughs> no! How to donate for future reference? I have a link to the Streamlabs donation page on the description. It should be my third link, I think. Second, third. I never remember what I put on top, if it was the Discord or the donation. But it's something with me. I know that. I have the visual memory of that. Um, also, I joined your Discord. I didn't know you had one. I do have one! And sometimes we just do shenanigans in there. Um, sometimes we... Well, I shouldn't say sometimes we do. I should say sometimes I will, at some point, get used to calling everyone for a random game of Among Us or joining someone who is playing something. Um, sometimes people are playing stuff in there and, um, and streaming for others to join. So, oh my god! Why is the high we be so loud today? Um, people aren't dumb. In some cases, it's questionable at least. <laughs> well, you... you I, if it's patronizing to assume that everyone is dumb, so I wouldn't want to do it. Um, what Discord I gotta join? Yes, I have a Discord. It's in the description. You've been saying that for months. I know, I know. But listen, now that I don't have any trips coming up, now that I don't have any... <laughs> Thank you for actually entertaining me while I was both bored and sick. So here's another donation. Thank you so, so much, cookies. Thank you. I'm always trying my best to entertain you and to make sure that you don't have to be uh, waiting for the dentist board. So I'm glad you can enjoy. Um, I've been saying that for months. I know, but now that I don't have any trips coming up, now that I don't have any surgeries coming up, now that I can foresee like a time period where I am actually stable, for a couple months without anything breaking my routines. Now I truly believe I'm gonna be able to randomly disconnect and play for a little bit. I know that it sounds kind of like an empty promise at this point, but I swear, I swear, because of all the traveling and the surgery, things got a bit harder. Because for all the traveling, I had to make sure to prep stuff in advance. So I needed to make sure that I could do, I don't know, two weeks of work in the span of one week. Or three weeks of work in the span of a week. Just to make sure that whenever I came back, I had everything ready and I wasn't rushed to do stuff. And then with like, um, the special surprises that I had in like Halloween, for example. Uh, Halloween, what the frick? And Valentine's. Um, I also, that took me quite a bit of time. And then the surgery, and I lost a week and a half because of the surgery, so, you know, now, now that I'm better, now that the switches are gone, now that, that everything is uphill from here, I'm gonna stabilize again, <laughs> uh, get some nail clippers that don't break when you play with <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> Thank you! Realistically, I should stop playing with nail clippers. But, but thank you, I'll get a new nail clipper. <laughs> thank you so much. Um, uh, this time, this time I will get stable enough to have some free time to just play with you guys. That is a promise. That is a promise. Just give it a couple of weeks until I'm done pre-prepping some stuff to have like a, 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 a reservoir of things. A reser reservoir? Of little uh, of things so that I'm not super rushed all the time so that I can relax and play games with y'all sometimes um, 
Uh, Grey Retouch. Oh, the Discord link. Thank you. Thank you for posting the link in Discord. Uh, I'm a bit of a fool when it comes to the internet and forget there's links to what you speak. It's okay. It's all right. Don't worry about it. Just joined. Well, see? It's okay. You're part of it now. Don't worry. I'm not at the dentist right now, but I just want to say thanks. Since I was feeling sick and you actually made this week really good for me. I'm so glad that I could help a little bit in this time of awfulness. Being sick is awful. I'm very glad that I could give you a little bit of entertainment through it and make it feel a little bit better. And I'm glad that you're feeling better. I'm very glad that you're feeling better and I'm glad that it wasn't the thing, you know, the thing. I'm, I'm very glad to hear that your, positive, your negative was positive. Your, your result was negative. Brain! Brain! I don't even know what I tried to say right there, but it was not what I was trying to say. <sighs> All right. Lady Alicia and Mim make the weeks better. Aww. Thank you. Boy, I'm gonna blush. Stop being so nice to me. <laughs> I guess not. No, don't stop because I, I do preach niceness. So it's okay. It's a case to be nice. Um, it's actually encouraged. It's it's encouraged to be nice in this in this here stream. All right. Let me before I go. To, it's been two hours, so it is time to wrap up. I have opened the poll on Twitter to remind myself. I'm also gonna open Tear Maker to remind myself that I should look for a Pokemon tier list, see what's available. Pokemon. Alright. Pokemon tier list. Every Pokemon, all Pokemon 2022. Fuck that. Pokemon starter viability tier list. That would be only starters. All starter Pokemon. Alright. Alright. Pokemon mainline tier list. We have some options of, of, of tier lists that are not every single Pokemon ever. All first generation Pokemon, that's an option. Alright, so so I'm gonna post them later on the Discord, maybe? Maybe? I don't know. Um oh I was wondering, what's the song in the background? Um I let me link Let me link it for you. It's it is in my description. The link of the... Did I link his SoundCloud? Because he's not that that active on... I didn't link his SoundCloud, but I gave the, the username. So the um, the SoundCloud username of the, the person who made that music is this. Is this one. Um, it's a friend who made the background music for me. Very thankful. Uh, I did ask him if he could do a chill version, um, but you know, we're friends and this is a, a free gift, so it's gonna happen whenever it happens. <laughs> Complimenting Ellie time, let's go. No, 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 no. Listen, it's time to finish the stream. That's, that's what time it is. It's time to finish the stream. That is the time that it is. All right, we vibing with Lady Alicia. Yeah, rate all 800 Pokemon, hell no. <laughs> Endurance stream? <laughs> Actually, I do want to make an endurance stream at some point. Um, I think I was checking, I was checking the other day, like, what would be the one year anniversary? And it would be a Wednesday. It's a very bad day for an endurance stream. Very bad day. So maybe we make it an endurance stream? For, um, maybe we make it an endurance stream for whenever monetization happens because that way I can sort of tweak the date. I can be like, oh my god, monetization happened. I need to prep the endurance stream. And by prep, I mean I need to wait until it's Friday so that it's a good day for an endurance stream. <laughs> Loved the drawing that you did of Mim the other day. I told you through Twitter, but I freaking loved it. Um, so, yeah, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe then we do an endurance stream. Um, should start with Gen One, the most simple Pokemon. 
could start with Gen 1. Could start with Gen 1. It would be a good place to start, but maybe not the most interesting. Depends on what you guys would be interested in. Oh, I see that's a really nice melody. It is! It is! I'm super happy with it. I'm very happy with it. Um, well, take care everyone. Just glad you're doing better, Ellie. And I'm glad you're doing better from the throat. Um, and I hope today the dentist goes quickly. And I hope it's not bad. Uh, is Lady Alicia about to eat? Yes, it is. Time to stop the stream. Uh, but Maple just got here. Astroman just got here, you guys! Hello, how are you doing? We were literally close, about to close the stream. I think Gen 1 is also the largest gen. I could check how many how many things there are in later. Pokemon Unite annoying tier list? What? What is that? What is that? The old starter Pokemon is interesting. Uh, 0 to 151? 150 no wait this is like this has like eight versions of versions of Pikachu are you freaking kidding me are you freaking kidding me all first generation Pokemon's I included 151 from the games red blue and yellow I added the gender differences G max forms mega evolutions and every other form you can find yeah this is one two three Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight Pikachus! Each with a different hat. I, 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 don't know. I don't know what to think. I don't know what to think. I don't even know what to think about that. Um, a damn lolly is ending. I, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I was. I was. I was ending it. Um, not every Pokemon gen is 150? Question mark? I don't know. I don't know anything about Pokemon, so maybe? I don't <laughs> Gen 1 has always been my favorite. Okay, stay healthy and keep vibing. Um, I, I'm not gonna rush it because people have just come in, so I'm gonna... <sighs> maybe we can stretch it a couple more minutes. <laughs> I am feeling good, so... Um, sorry, sorry, I was arrived late, but it's not your fault. I know our time difference is quite awful. I know our time difference is quite awful, which I'm kind of surprised about. I would have assumed that we had less of a time difference um, because of our like distance, but it, but it is surprising that we do have quite a bit of a time difference, Maple. Maple. I never know how to call you, call you. If maple or maple, it's like I know, but I could call you both. So I'm like, and then my brain wants to say both. Um, Pokemon Unite is Pokemon, but League of Legends. I don't know why they did that because League of Legends is popular. I guess I only know first gen. Gen one, put your zero percent. Generation one is one hundred and fifty one. Okay, everyone knows Gen one apparently. I'm eating. All right, goodbye, Honor. I hope you're well. Um, what's your favorite? I don't know anything about Pokemon other than how they look like, and therefore my favorite is the basic bitch favorite, the Eve, Eevee, and the evolutions. Um, it's just, it's the coolest that there is one Pokemon that turns into pretty much every other other um, type. And I know it's not every other type. I know there's a lot of them missing. But given the fact that they keep adding them every couple of years, I have to assume that at one point it could have every single type. And also there are so many good fake evolutions made by great artists online. I just, ah, uh, I just love it. I just love it. There's a couple more that also have several evolutions depending on types. Um, there's one that looks like a seed, I think. No, not a seed. Maybe a seed? It was like a circle. But that one was a lot less complex, so I didn't care about it that much. But I just, the, the whole Eevee sparks creativity, and it just, it just, I love that. I freaking love that. Also, it's so cute! It's so cute! Um, 
Uh, do a Smash or Pass Pokemon tier list. Do you want... Do you want me to specifically cater to the furries? I don't have anything against furries. I legitimately don't. I hate that they are kind of like the internet punching ground. But do you want me to make a stream specifically to cater to furries? <laughs> because if I do a Smash or Pass with Pokemon, that is pretty much as furry as it gets. <laughs> Just so we're all on the same page. Just so we're all on the same page. That is what it means. Um, Ellie Drew Sylveon, who is from Gen 6. Oh yeah, in one of my in one of my um, sketching whatever chat wants, someone requested a Sylveon. Yeah, 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 I remember it. Um, both are fine. Oh, I also like Evely, Ev Eve. Eve. There we go. I, I finally made it made it to the correct pronunciation. She drew herself as a gym leader and gave her Pokeballs all around the whole tail. That was fun. Maybe one day I could actually draw that, but it would be kind of fake because I don't know anything about Pokemon. So I feel like it would be kind of like... Uh, I don't know. Some people would be like, oh my god, she likes Pokemon. And I would be like, no, not really. I don't know anything about Pokemon. <laughs> but you are a furry, Ellie. A scaly. Yes, I'm actually surprised um, at how very little furry uh, audience I have. Hello, Duke, how are you doing? Hi! Hello, hello. Um, uh, I'm actually kind of surprised at how... Oh, by the way, Duke, we were about to finish the stream, but then like three or four people arrived just as I was finishing, so I decided, fuck it, I'll just relax relax with the closing of the stream a little bit plus it's the first time i'm feeling super energetic in a while so yeah um uh, you are a furry as scaly i am surprised about the low amount of furries in 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 the chat and i actually like i have very very few friends who know that i do vtubing very, very few, like you can count them in one hand, few. But one of the first things they asked me was, if you want to grow, why not just post art of yourself in like furry size? You know that the furries, the scalies, would probably eat it up. And I'm like, probably, but I, do we, do we want to? I'm a say-so streamer. <laughs> I'm a say-so streamer. Do I really want to try and cater to the community that is well, 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 well known for their prawn capabilities? <laughs> Setsuna, welcome! Hi! Um, lol, let's go. The meme king of 2 VTuber discords is here. I do consider Duke to be king, king tier of meme. King tier of meme making. He is uh, one of the greatest memers. Um, and Miguel does really good good clips as well. Just, just note that down. Just note that down. Um, I thought scalies are like fully scale, while Lamias are dim humans instead. Yes, but um, while it is true, scalies could go for either. You know, you're too human for you're too human for the scalies to get off of. Don't underestimate the scalies, man. Don't underestimate the scalies. You never underestimate the furries. It is not a smart decision. That's better than the fact Pokemon is an acceptable animal gambling fight simulator. Oh yeah, yeah. Actually, I, I remember the first time that I heard about the manga and people were like, oh yeah, in the manga the Pokemon literally die. And I'm like, what? And they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the, in the manga there's one Pokemon that gets frozen and then crushed into pieces. And I'm like, oh my freaking god. <laughs> no. Oh no. <laughs> Rita, you flatter me, your memes are always great. Ah, but Duke, here's the thing. You make memes, and you make really good memes. 
So you deserve the flattery. Um, so, an Alicia cosplay would technically be a fursuit? No, I, I don't think so. I don't think so. I mean, you would have to ask furries for a proper answer, I guess. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Gosh, y'all are making me blush. You deserve it. Blush harder. <laughs> blush harder. You're a skeleton, but you're still gonna blush. We're gonna make. We're gonna make. We're gonna make your bones red, hot red. Um, Astroman, it should be like that, to be honest. Oh my god, alright, I need to leave, Pat's meme skeleton, take care, Ali. Take care, Miguel! Thank you for being here, as always, I mean it when I say your clips are great, and I'll see you around! I hope your day goes great for the rest of your day. Um, but yeah, don't underestimate the furries. Never underestimate the furries. I don't know why they are, like, the punching bag of the entire internet. I get that some people get freaked out because animals and so billion stuff but furries i said this before i've said this before on stream fairies are some of the most respectful commissioners of art ever um as a as someone who has art as one of her skills, as someone who has sometimes made commissions, taken commissions as an artist, it's always so scary because there are so many people out there ready and willing to scam an artist for their art. Uh, I've heard, I've seen so many people um, talking about full models being like essentially stolen from them because they worked on them and then the the people um, got rejected or returned refunded stuff like that and it's so scary to think that you could be working on something for months just for someone to be a, a really a really big jerk about it and steal your work from you um, and if the furry community is known for one thing is that it's known for them being very respectful towards artists. So I don't like that they are super, like, the punching bag of, of the internet. Because it's like, hey, actually, actually, most of you have something to learn about from furries. Not, not, not pointing fingers. But definitely those guys that I see stealing YouTube models and just, in general, demanding free art. Like... I've definitely seen so many people demanding free art or demanding that an artist lowers their prices and stuff like that. And it's like, mm, a furry wouldn't do that. <laughs> true, that's true. Learn about the Kettle the Wall saga and you'll understand why normal people hate furries so much. I'm scared now. I'm scared. Furries are the punching bag because of the minority extreme far end of furries give the whole community a bad name. The majority of the community is chill. I've never met a furry that wasn't chill, but I have no doubt, no doubt whatsoever that there are, that the, the vocal minority must be awful. Um, like every single group big enough has an awful, awful vocal minority. I mean, I still remember when Steven Universe... I, I'm a big fan of Steven Universe. I don't know if I've ever said it. I'm a big fan of Steven Universe. I still remember when a very, very annoying vocal part of the Steven Universe fandom left bad reviews on a hotel page just because there was a hotel with the same name in an episode that got wrecked by the characters. And like... Babes, that is wrong you're not being cute you're not being funny you're not having fun with your fandom buddies you're ruining a hotel you are making a mess for very real people with very real jobs um so yeah every every fandom has a very awful minor let's not even talk about things like bronies who again i was i was a brony at one point, 
And, and yeah, there was a part of the community that I wanted to stay as far away as I could from. You know, that, it's a, that, that people that you say, I wouldn't touch you with a stick. I, there were people I wouldn't have touched with that freaking laser gun. You know what I mean? As far away as possible. Um, but yeah. I, I don't know if I want to read about Kiddo. <laughs> I, Brody, I used to be one long ago. I mean, there's so many, there's so many of us that you wouldn't know unless you say, we say so. Um, th there's so many of us that you, you just wouldn't know because why you talk about it, you know? I'm talking about it right now just because we're talking about furries and the community and blah, blah, blah. Um, it's not something that you readily say because you know what comes with it. You know what comes with it. It comes with people like assuming you were one of those guys and uh, nobody wants to be one of those guys, you know? <laughs> Every time I'm not home and I'm trying to watch an LU stream, I would always sit far away from people. Uh, is it because you're scared of me doing something bad? <laughs> there are bad apples everywhere. The furry fandom has slash had its own scandals with example popular artists being in real life predators. Oh, yeah. But, I mean, that that is true everywhere. I mean, there are several animes where nowadays it's like people are guilty of consuming them. Wasn't... Um, Rurouni Kenshin, the last, the last samurai, the ex samurai, wasn't that one made by someone who was, uh, who turned out to be a predator? I may be entirely wrong, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I've heard at least one or two big popular animes, um, who were made by people who are turned, who turned out to be like predators. Interesting how conversations always go into full swing when it's time to get going. I know it's been half an hour since I said that we should go but you know people were arriving and I feel guilty if people are here they should get something out of it you know they made the effort or not the effort but they chose to watch me and and, and they should get something out of it um, just don't want to be made fun a uh, fan of or judged for just trying to watch an amazing VTuber or just watching a VTuber in general I totally get it I totally get it, 100%. I mean, they, thankfully a lot more people are aware of anime nowadays, uh, as opposed to before, things like Attack on Titan or what else broke the mold? One Punch Man? There were some animes that really, really broke the mold into mainstream and a lot of people started being more aware of anime and started respecting a little bit more but there is still a stigma so i totally 100 percent understand it um a friend totally told me about this samurai x koyashi oshiete gaku chan um all of those okay samurai x is the one that i knew about samurai x i definitely knew about i knew that it had um that it had come out that the guy was uh, an in real life predator i don't and maybe gaku chan Maybe I heard about that one too, but I didn't it didn't remain in my brain because I don't know about that franchise Like I, I never watched it and like I'm not Really aware of what it is um, If you ended on time you wouldn't have seen them at all Yes, but I'm glad I didn't because now they get to they get some of the stream <laughs> We get to talk a little bit um, Cookie, it's true. It's easier to just hide the screen than to explain. Yeah, isn't there that isn't there that guy who makes videos about like about like explaining, uh, like being caught watching VTubers by a friend or something, like comedy sketches. Um, it's nice to come home and catch just a little bit of the stream live. Um, see, that's that's what I'm trying to do. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to do, like you guys, you guys manage to come. I want to make it at least a little bit worth it. Maybe not an entire stream worth it, but at least a little bit. Um, with that being said, it has been half an hour since I said that I should cut the stream. So I should probably cut the stream. But I did enjoy having you around and I did enjoy talking to you and I mean it. I mean it. 
it's always nice to see. Uh, I try to remember the people who come around uh, and I forget some names, but I always try to remember at least the people who come around more than once. Um, you should put a stream ending soon. I have a stream ending soon, but I normally just, you know, end the stream with that. Like, it's, it's like there for people to say goodbye to each other and for YouTube to have 20 seconds to put up, like, the cards and everything at the end. Um, oh, look, and we got a bot last minute. <laughs> Fue bueno volver a ver un stream en vivo. Ah, well, it's time for me to go now. So thank you for another fun and chill stream. Thank you for another donation, cookies. I'm. Thank you, thank you so much. It means a lot. Thank you, thank you. I hope it goes well with the dentist. Um. Fue bueno volver a ver a uh, un stream en vivo de nuevo. Fue bueno volver a verte, Mafle. <laughs> Fue muy bueno volver a verte. Um, one day, one day we should really just play again. I don't, I don't know if I've been missing any events or anything where we could play again, but I would enjoy that. Uh, bog the bot! Bog the bot! <laughs> Thanks for the stream and have a good evening. Thank all of you for being here. Thank you for chatting with me. Carlos Shane Carlos is 100% legit name. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, that was just a that was just a, a, a poor guy who didn't know what we were talking about. He was speaking in a different language, very very weird language that looks exactly like a bot. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for being here. I really 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 appreciate it. It was very funny. <laughs> He's my childhood friend. I know. I'm so sorry. I bugged your friend. I'm sorry we bunked your friend. Um, stop being funny, I'm trying to close the stream. <laughs> okay, I, I'm gonna go now. <laughs> Thank you for being here, I really enjoyed it. Um, uh, Tiene una bonita semana. Que vos también llegas una bonita semana. Um, bueno, ya casi se termina la semana, así que feliz jueves. <laughs> Y feliz viernes y feliz fin de semana. Um, thanks for the stream, Ellie. Have a nice rest of the day. Um, y bien mandan saludos. Thank you for the stream. Thank you all for being here. Don't forget to stretch, drink water, eat nicely, and sleep seven to nine hours. Don't forget to be kind to yourselves and others. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you next time. Feliz jueves. Goodbye.